Hello everyone, welcome back to Jim's Garage Toys. I'm going to be doing another project on my 89 supercharged MR2 behind me. And today's project is I'm going to be installing an oil catch can on it. So on this car, there is normally this hose that ran right from there to there and this is what I'll bring a hose from here into the catch can and then from the catch can into right here so very simple install I think I'm going to mount the catch can right back here a nice little space for it there my biggest debate was do I do blue or silver so I have two of them because I want to install one on my Scion IM or my uh, Scion XB also, or do the IM. And so I have the silver one as a two port, which does line up for how I want to do it. The blue one is a three port, so it gives me the option when I'm installing, which whatever way makes it easier um, and I actually have for the one input that I don't use I have a plug so I can use either one I was going to use the blue but the the hardest thing was trying to find some rubber line I went to five stores before and what I had some of the fuel line that I had already was too small I need something a little bit larger and I found some red line so I'm thinking with the red I mean it will accent the red that I've got little touches in here so I'm thinking the blue oil catch can might look out of place I don't know I can always switch it but I think I'm gonna put the silver one in to match the other stuff and we'll highlight with the red tubing so we'll see how that looks so let me get this uh, set up and we'll get it installed. It shouldn't take too long. So there's a little, there's a hose right here. Coolant hose. It's got a little bracket on it. And I think I'm going to try to use that. I'm going to use that mounting point. First bracket is done, so you can see what I did with that. So it was a perfect L, so I bent it in the vise to give it the same angle as this bracket, and I drilled a new hole in it, so that way my bolt fits through. And now that will sit just like that. I think that's going to be pretty slick. So, and then what I'll do is take this other bracket and I'll bolt it to this so it creates a U. I just dropped it. But anyway, that will sit like that. And then the catch can, I'll drill two holes for this right here into that, so that mounts to that. That'll be nice and sturdy. I'll get those other holes drilled and bolted together. So this is what I started with, a right angle. And then this is how I bent it to fit the curvature of this bracket. And then each of these brackets had one hole right here and I drilled another hole farther back. So what I can do is layer them, have the holes line up, see the light through it there, and I bought some bolts. So bolt those together like that and I'll have a perfect mating surface for the catch can. So we'll get started on that part. I got this first bracket in. 
you can see how I angled it right there to match the curvature of this bracket right here. So now that that one's bolted in, this other one, uh, just on top of it like that, and then the catch can will get bolted right there. I'll drill a couple holes there for that one. All right, got the two pieces bolted together there. So, and the first brackets bolted to the original OEM bracket. So, and you can see I've got the two holes there to put the metal screws that came with the oil catch can. I figured worst case scenario, if I don't like those, I can drill these and drill these holes out just a little bit and put uh, nuts and bolts like that right there. So, and just so, so you can see what I used. So, I just ended up buying some small screws with a hex top in it and then some nuts that would lock up there. So, real simple. And now I've got this piece that will go just like that, right into this nice space. And we'll be all set. All right, I'm going to let's get this screwed. So the whole bracket is mounted now. So once more, the first piece went on bent it to fit the contour, second piece bolted on, I drilled one extra hole here, and then I drilled two holes, just use sheet metal screws, because that's what it came with, to mount this bracket to this one. So, and then, this just will mount right under here, like so. So this part be easy. So we're just getting the bracket exactly how I wanted it. And it wasn't uh, it wasn't very hard to tell you the truth. Well, I ended up using the blue one because interestingly enough, the silver one, even though they look the same, the threads are slightly different between the two. So must be different brands. So luckily I had a plug, so I just plugged one of those three. Used some liquid sealant on the on the threads. And I used that one on the XB. So anyway, so I've got this all ready to go now. So I got all the those on. So I just need to screw this to there and then Cut my hoses and push them on and we'll be all done. So finish this up. Okay. Got the two screws on now, so now it's just a matter of cutting some tubing. So I'm gonna do this one right here directly up to it. And this one I'm gonna just make a little curve. This is the intake and this is the out. So, so here's the final look of it. So, I was, I was actually going for the silver catch can, and I was going to do black hose, but I couldn't find any black hose. Well, the stores are out of it. it. took me five stores to find this. But, it's installed. So, so we got the new intercooler in, and now we have our uh, catch can in. So, nice and very, very happy. Uh, I've been wanting to do both those things for a while. So, thanks for joining me on another modification on my cars. And uh, any questions for me, please comment and smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. So, thank you guys. We'll see you the next time.